Hey guys, love yourself a mocha cake. How about you make it yourself at home in very easy steps. To know how to make it, make sure to watch this video till the end. Hey guys, my name is Jagriti. Welcome to my channel Flavors of My World. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe me to my channel and if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. So, let's get started. First of all, we will take a 6 inch cake tin and grease it properly with butter. Now, dust some maida or all purpose flour over it and make sure it coats all around the cake tin and then dust off the excess maida. Now, take 3 4 cup of warm milk. Make sure to use full fat milk. To that, add 1 teaspoon instant coffee powder. You can use any coffee powder that you have at home. Now keep it aside. Now let's mix our dry ingredients. For that take a sieve and sieve in 1 cup maida or all purpose flour, 1 and a half tablespoon cocoa powder. Make sure to use good quality unsweetened cocoa powder. Now add 1 teaspoon baking powder and half teaspoon baking soda to it and a good pinch of salt. Sieve it all and make sure that there are no lumps in it. After that, mix all your dry ingredients so that the rising agents are properly incorporated in the maida and cocoa powder. Now let's get to the fat. For that, take 80 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature in another whisking bowl. To that, add 3 4 cup of powdered sugar. Now whisk these both till it is light and fluffy. You can even use a hand whisk if you don't have an electric one. It will take you about 3 to 4 minutes till it's really light and fluffy. Now to that, add 1 teaspoon vanilla essence and then mix that in as well. Once that is done, now let's mix our ingredients all together for that let me tell you a very easy step which will make your mixing process so much easier that is to always start on the dry ingredient and end on the dry ingredient that is first mix one third of the dry ingredients and half of your coffee mix to the butter and sugar once that is nicely mixed then Add another one third of your dry ingredients and the rest of the coffee mix. Mix that well. Once that is incorporated in properly, then add your rest of the dry ingredients. By doing this, it will be so much easier and you will not end up over mixing your batter which can make your cake really stodgy. Now, once it is all mixed, you will see that your uh, batter is of a mousse consistency as it should be. Now to this add 1 teaspoon vinegar. After that mix that in as well. Now pour all your cake batter into the cake tin. After pouring it make sure to level it up with help of a butter knife or uh, the back of the spoon so that it has less work to do in the oven. If you have an oven, preheat it at 180 degrees Celsius and bake this cake for about 25 to 30 minutes. If you don't have one, take a large kadhai or pan. To that, add salt and place a stand in the middle, cover it and let it preheat at 10 minutes at high flame. After that, place the cake mold in the center, cover it and let it bake for 40 to 50 minutes at low flame. Now, once that's done, check it with a toothpick. If the th toothpick comes out clean, means your cake is baked. Let it cool down completely. Always demold your cake after 20 minutes and let it cool down completely for an hour. Now, take another small bowl. To that, add 4 teaspoon hot water. 2 tablespoon sugar and 1 teaspoon coffee powder sorry it will be 4 tablespoon water and now mix it properly we will use this to 
मेक आर केक मोर मॉइस्ट एंड मोर रिच इन कॉफी फ्लेवर नाउ फॉर द आइसिंग फॉर द फॉर दैट टेक वन प्लस वन फोर्थ कप ऑफ हेवी विपिंग क्रीम टू दैट एड टू टेबल स्पून आइसिंग शुगर विप इट टिल इट फॉर्म्स स्टिफ पीक्स नाउ सिर्फ इन वन एंड हाफ टी स्पून कॉफी पाउडर एंड टू एंड हाफ टी स्पून कोको पाउडर सिर्व इट प्रॉपरली एंड देन मिक्स इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पैटला डू दैट फर्स्ट और एल्स ऑल द कोको पाउडर एंड कॉफी पाउडर विल फ्लाई ऑन टू योर फेस सो आफ्टर दैट विप इट टिल इट एल स्टिफ पीक्स एंड देन ट्रांसफर इट इन टू पाइपिंग बैग आई फाइंड इट ईजियर टू वर्क आफ्टर दैट Once the cake has completely cooled down, I had demolded it after 20 minutes and let it cool down completely for another hour. After that, we we will uh, scrape off the top of the cake so that we have truly definite equal layers. You can do that or you can leave it. It is all up to you. Now I have divided this cake into three layers. If you want, you can even divide it into two layers both will be fine after that on the bottom layer drench it properly with your water coffee and sugar mix that we had prepared do not fear in uh, putting less amount of the syrup because it will really make your cake more moist after that is done apply a layer of your icing and uh, level it out with the help of a butter knife after that place another layer on top and once again drench it with your syrup here i had forgotten to do that please do not forget to do that make sure to drench it with your syrup after that once again repeat the process and add one more layer of your icing and level it up and then at last your topmost layer on the top once again drench it with your coffee syrup and apply another layer of icing on the top now we will do the crumb coats of the side what i like to do is i like to add more icing on the top and then crumb coat the cake on the sides with the help of icing that i had poured on the top which makes the work a little bit more easier make sure that the Uh, cream you are applying on the sides is a very thin layer because this is not our final product so even if it looks messy it is fine now let it set in the fridge for about 20 to 15 to 20 minutes after that apply one more layer of your icing and level it with the help of a cake scraper always apply more icing on the sides because you will end up scraping off more than half of the icing so do not fear in i adding more icing it just makes your work more easier in a similar fashion apply more icing on top and level it up with the help of a butter knife i feel the smaller knife uh, makes it more easier once that is done make sure you have sharp edges and now let it set in the fridge for another 15 to 20 minutes now we will prepare our chocolate drip for that take 35 to 40 grams of dark chocolate and to that add 2 tablespoon of heavy cream now microwave it for 15 min- 15 seconds and whisk with the help of a spoon or a whisker till it is all melted it will be of a flowing consistency now you can apply it like that only but i like to transfer it to a piping bag which makes my work more easier now pipe out the drips as you like smaller or longer and then uh, rest of your chocolate on the top of your cake and spread it with the help of a knife now decorate the top as you like you have seen what i have done is very simple but makes the cake look so much nicer and prettier and the end product is here look at it it's so pretty and it's such simple icing techniques now slice your cake right away and you can see how soft and moist it is and so easily the knife went through and the fork 
it is so tasty you need to try this so if you like my video do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching